Alright, hello guys, my name is Nilo, and I'm going to be showing you how to create a program that simplifies radicals. Now, um, simplifying radicals can be a bit tough at some points, um, but, and it can be hard to do the math, but if you follow this program, not only will it show you the amount of radical, not only will it show you the radical, but as well as what the answer will be. So first of all, I'm going to turn on our calculator. We have a, I have a, I'm using an emulator, but it works as well. Um, and unlike uh, um, the last, the uh, other uh, programming video that I made called Quad F that um, did quadratic uh, equations, uh, this one uh, you can, I'm going to uh, be showing you step by step about what to do. About each each section. So, and if it and if this video needs to be cut into parts, then I'll have to do that as well. But I'm just hoping that it doesn't reach that far. So, uh, without ado, let's get started. So, first thing that you want to do is do my mouse here. The mouse is your friend, and also remember to listen to me as I tell you what each part does. So, go to program. Uh, this is the little right here, and it'll show the screen. And then um, go to the new column and press enter. Okay, so program new and then enter. Okay, and we're gonna call this radical. And to show uh, alphabetical letters, just make sure to um, hit the alpha key. So now you have that uh, name put in there. Press enter. And now this is all the code that's gonna be put into this. Normally, I've seen people start up a a program and they don't know what to do at this point. But uh, well. I felt that way too when I was first trying to program and now I know so first thing we're gonna do is press program when you're in the screen when you're in the program entering screen press program now you'll see all these list of commands okay and it may be different for you the number of commands that you have may be different for you depending on what st system you're using I uh, this works as far as um TID 4 plus C silver edition so um yeah so uh, the first thing you have to go go to is press program, and while you're in the program editing screen, go to uh, I O and go to clear home. Okay. Now press enter. Now that's just one line of command. Clear home clears the screen. So now go to press program again. Go to I O and press two, or go to prompt. Now prompt and then alpha R. Okay. Now basically what prompt does is it um, acts as you for a value for R. So what is R? That's gonna that's what's gonna ask you. So now when we do that, uh, when we enter in that, there's gonna be some math involved, and in every pro math program, there's gotta be some math calculations involved, and we're gonna do that. So press one, S T O uh, arrow sign S T O alpha A, and this will make that one is A. Okay, A is, is A, A is one. I can't use equal because that means that like A is equal to one for like the for the whole calculator and it's going to think that way but it's just for the program so uh, sto um sto the uh, uh arrow sign labels a variable so now uh, go to the next line and go to uh, arrow sign i okay so two equals i and then press enter now the next thing we're going to do is go to second and math okay and go to logic actually no don't go to logic wow I'm way ahead of myself go to program and go to five while okay go to while and now press alpha I and then the square key now while I is I squared is go to second math less than or e well, yeah, less than or equal to, go to second catalog, ABS, which means absolute value, uh, R, close that with the parentheses, enter. So while I swear it is less than the absolute value of R, an absolute value is used for um, uh, well, returning an absolute value of, the, of, of a real number, as long as R is a real number. And when we prompted R, as long as it's a real number, it's it's real. So if I swear it is less than or greater to the absolute value of R, which is a real number, or should be, 
go to program while second math now go to logic and not so now this is this is where things may get a bit tricky so press math and go to number and f part and uh not basically controls how uh, how limited a while statement can go and i'll put that later in like a programming video about while but not pretty much limits about like while this is equal to this and while not is while this is equal to this do not do this so f part is a uh, a fraction compressor there's also an i part like right here i part and that's like an integer compressor so basically so while uh while not the f part that fraction part of a r divided by i squared okay close out the parentheses enter r divided by i squared yields or sto error sign r and so so basically you said while if this is not it while i squared is less than or equal to the absolute value of r while not if if this is not if this is not happening if 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 the fractional uh, uh compression of r divided by i squared is not happening then r divided by i squared it uh, then do r divided by i squared make that equal to r it may be a bit confusing but I'll, uh, it'll become more clear later so press enter so now a and i remember a is from uh, 1 equals a. Now we're basically going to do a times i. So a i yields a. Enter. And now that we finished that short bit of instructions, yeah, that's right, that was short. Um, press program and 7 and or navigate down to program and end. Now create another pro. Now create another line. It's not over yet. That was just one ma mathematical calculation. So go to alpha i plus one plus parentheses alpha i it is greater than go to second math to get those two close out with the parentheses sto uh yield sign and i so that, now that that's done uh that's just another bit of mathematical calculation. Press program and seven and done. So basically, i plus one plus what's it? What if i is greater than two equals is yielded than i. So now we end that bit of a, uh, a mathematical statement. So press enter again, and now we're gonna go clear home again. So go to I O and go to clear home. So now now it's uh, about showing the answer you did everything and it's already calculated some of the starting equations for it we labeled most of the variables so now we're going to have to output it but the first thing we have to do to output it we have to label some more variables so one plus uh second catalog and press i go down and scroll down to int which means an integer of the logarithm so press second catalog and go to l and head down to uh log which means like a logarithm so and alpha a now this may not become clear but i will show you what it really does while what when we really test out the program so close out with the parentheses and close out with another parentheses just because you know now, program, go to program, you create a new line, press program. So now program one and say if. So this is if. So if alpha a, go to alpha a, if a is unequal to one, output, that's right. Now go to um, output program, so go to IO and go to six. Output one 
1. So put two com 1 comma 1 comma alpha a. Okay, you don't have to close it out with that. Not for outputs. So now, now you can go to, oh wait, no. So now go to second and negative. Second negative. So now it says answer. So answer minus a second math yeah, no. equal to okay equal to one just equal to this so answer minus a equals to one if go to alpha program r is less than if it's less than zero Alpha then, or we'll program then. Go to then. Enter. Go to output. One comma one. Now do not press that. Now do not put the comma here. But one plus second. Well, don't. Do, oh yeah, second negative comma quotation mark. no okay alpha quotation mark which is the plus screen go to uh, second catalog and press I and there you go press that imaginary number sound enter so now go to set second negative answer plus one all right, now with that that was a big big bit of instructions, but uh, basically, what I just did there. If a is n equal to one, then output then show the answer one, show the answer on the first column of the first line. Uh, a show the answer a, and then make sure that the answer whatever the answer is. A. Uh, subtract that from a equals one, which is what from our first program one equals a. So then, if r is equal to less than zero, then output uh, one uh, da uh, one comma one plus answer, which means like uh, an answer about where where you want to put the um, imaginary number, put the imaginary number in with a quotation mark. Now, now that means I know you know about your imaginary numbers. If, if a square root of a negative, a square root of a negative always needs an imaginary number. So, yeah, if r is less than zero, make sure that it's an imaginary number. That's why I put that in there. So, answer plus one. So, make sure that in the end, the answer does not have, the, your r is not always a negative. Okay? So, end that bit of instructions. All right. So, now, we don't have much time here. Uh, uh, my, my YouTube limit is about 14 minutes and 59 seconds. But uh, that was a bit of the, a bit of the mathematical, uh, uh, most of the mathematical programs. We still have a bit to go through, but I think I'll show that in the next part of um, simplifying uh, radicals. Uh, so um, stay tuned for the next part, which is going to become like a, as soon as I can. Um, stay f tuned for the next part of programming a uh, simplifying radicals program, and uh, we're going to. Add in the bit of the uh, we're gonna add more of the mathematical uh, uh, parts of the program and then test our program. That's what the second part is gonna be all about. So until then, I'll see you. Until then, thanks for watching.